Every club has them. The players who manage just one appearance for moving on, either to bigger and better things, or because I just didn't make the grade. With some one game wonders living long in the minds of supporters, and others vanishing for everyone's thoughts. Here we take a look at five players who, for many reasons, made just one appearance during their time at Portland Road. First up, we have James Alabi, whose one outing for the Blues involved in actually scoring as well. Which means he must have the best goal ratio at the club, surely? The powerful front man joined town following his release from Stoke City in the summer of 2014 and made his debut for the club as a substitute in the captional One Cup extra time win at Doncaster, scoring the third of town's four goals that night. But that proved to be his only first team appearance as he's played for Chester, Tranmere, and is now at Leighton Orient in League Two. Freddie Fuseli, another player who was here and then wasn't. The Utility player certainly arrived with some pedigree in 2013, had been with both Manchester United and Manchester City's youth setups, but a polished background doesn't always lead to success. First two opportunities were at a premium, with his only outing for the club being in a 2 0 defeat at Stevenage in the League Cup. And he was soon out on loan at Berry and then Port Vale. He's now playing in the second tier of Italy though at the age of 27. Mike Pollitt is up next and you can say he may be one of the most successful one town game wonders in this list. If you're going to turn out just once for a team, it may as well be an impressive home victory over their most bitter arrivals. And that's pretty much what he did during his time with the Blues. Having joined on loan for Wigan to cover for injuries, he performed well in the 3-1 win over Norwich at Portland Road in November 2006. Sadly, Wigan boss Paul Jewell quickly recalled his player due to the injury crisis and was soon in Premier League action for the Latics, rather than helping out the Blues. Gerard Nash's career finished before it even started, as injuries robbed town of a highly promising Irish defender and denied him of a football career. After deciding to join the Blues when the likes of May United, Arsenal and Liverpool were reported interested in him in 2002, the centre-half played just 14 minutes for the Blues after coming on in a 6-1 victory over Burnley in October 2003. With injuries ruining his promising career, before even begun, he had loan spells of Hartlepool and Southend, but managed just three appearances before calling it a day in 2006. He has since carved out a career in coaching with the club's academy and is currently under 23's manager. And finally, we have Matt Bloomfield, whose career at town didn't kick off but made a name for himself at Wickham. A homegrown midfielder in the mould of Matt Holland, Bloomfield was around the Itchers Town first team squad at a congested time, with the likes of Holland, Jim McGilton, Toy Miller, and Jermaine Wright standing between him and first team action. That meant he made just one appearance of the Blues away at Notts County in the League Cup for moving on to Wickham Wanderers just before Christmas in 2003. Things have gone well though, as he's become something of a club legend, making over 500 appearances for the Chair Boys in over a decade. And of course, we had to mention Mark Fish, who only played 45 minutes of football for the Blues in a 2 1 defeat at QPR in 2005. The South African centre half enjoyed an impressive career but only played a half a town after being replaced and he announced his retirement soon after this game. So there you have it, five inches town, one game wonders. There have been plenty of other players who made just one appearance for town and I'm sure there'll be plenty more in the years to come.